And of all the places, I'm sorry, <laughs> where we need cynicism, we need it the most with religion. I mean, the Bible, people, <laughs> stop with the Bible. The Bible, people talk about it like it's a Bible, you know? I mean, <laughs> honestly, how does that get you closer to God? If you switch the stories in the Bible with the ones that you had in your fairy tale books as a kid, would you know the difference? <laughs> if it was religion, the Jack went up a beanstalk and a fairy tale, the Joda lived in a whale. <laughs> Delilah, Rapunzel, a talking wolf, a talking snake, you know? A, there's a poison apple in the Garden of Eden, and there's one in Snow White. Does it matter? Who cares? <laughs> you know, to believe these things, Noah, <laughs> Noah, match two of every species. Do you know that there's 800,000 species of insect? <laughs> so you mean this old man <laughs> matched up every little tick and mite and got them to fuck on a boat? Is that really? <laughs> That's going to get you closer to God, to think that? I mean, the Bible, if you read it, looks like it started out as a game of Mad Libs. It, you know, it, it does it. It's like, and then God made woman out of a rib. <laughs> a rib, look at that. You know, I mean, with all due respect, exited sir, I mean, God doesn't write books, okay? He can make a sunset. Why would he want to? You know, this idea that we make God into this semi-human, you know, he's a single parent <laughs> who writes books and gets pissed, you know? He, he has a son. What, what is this, Bonanza? He has a son. <laughs> I mean, I believe in God. I just give him a lot more credit than this. I know that you can't know God. You know, our imaginations and imagining anything other than us is so limited. Everything that's not exactly like us, we make almost like us, like aliens. Have you noticed they're never really that alien? They're just like us, but a metal eyebrow. Oh yeah, they're so different, you know. Pointy ears, a lot of skin conditions, you know. 28th century, dermatology still a problem, you know. Just, <laughs> And it's the same with God. We make him so much like us. And the irony there is that in the Bible, they're telling you in the very first story that you can't know him. What's the big sin they do right away? They eat from the tree of knowledge. Get it, knowledge? Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. That's what he's saying. <laughs> you understand God as well as your dogs understand you. I believe that is the correct analogy. And that's why we love to be pet owners, because we are God to them. You know, we leave and they're sad. We come back and the sun has risen again. The life, the life giver has somehow returned to dispense justice and mercy. You know, here is a biscuit. You were good. You were kicked out of the bedroom of Eden for shitting somewhere. And I know because I was raised Catholic. I know, and it's a programming. You have to deprogram. It takes a lifetime sometimes. I, to this day, I cannot have sex on Christmas. There's no <laughs> rational reason. I just feel Jesus is up there going, just don't fuck on my birthday. Would you, is that? <laughs> and Jesus is great. I love Jesus. What, is there a better role model? No. It's religion. It's the people who get in between. The bureaucracy, you know? I mean, first of all, you can't, talk directly to God. That is bad. You know, you gotta go into a priest, and then he tells Jesus, and <laughs> Mary got in there. It's like the DMV, you know, it's... <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's how people abuse Jesus. Is there ever, was there ever a greater victim of name dropping? than Jesus Christ. Just what goes on at the Grammys must make him cry tears of blood. I mean, <laughs> musicians, the most inarticulate egomaniacs who make models and athletes look like Salman Rushdie, <laughs> thanking Jesus. That, it's not about Jesus, of course. It's about them. Jesus had a part in making them so brilliant and talented. And then they thank their agent and their manager, because they did too. 
you know, when they wear that crucifix as jewelry, the huge platinum and gold and diamonds, I'm sure that's what Jesus had in mind when he was, I, I hope my death will allow rappers to signal to chicks that they're rich so they can get laid more. I, And yes, athletes, let me tell you, Jesus doesn't care who wins the game. So stop <laughs> thanking him, okay? I never heard anybody blame Jesus when they lose. <laughs> Fucking Jesus, I tell you, I, I had the ball right there. I had it in the numbers and I draw oh, that Jesus. <laughs> the other team outprayed us at halftime. That's what happened. You gotta pray harder than the other guy in this league. But, you know, that stuff is just obnoxious. Religion is also dangerous. In Kansas, you probably heard last year, the Board of Education stopped teaching evolution. Apparently, the jury is still out for them <laughs> on evolution. Actually, it came in in 1925 in the Scopes trial, but okay. They thought the money would be better spent warding off the Blair Witch and <laughs> posting the Ten Commandments in the school as a plan to protect their children, which would be good for 12th century Turkey. <laughs> After this, we're gonna fire the meat inspectors and protect against the E. coli virus by saying grace. <laughs> um, Pat Buchanan, running for president, proudly says he does not, not believe in evolution, and he's not too sure about gravity. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he thinks it, it might be a, a plot by Jews to get people to drop spare change, so he's... But I also tell you this about Jesus. He is not a Republican. I don't know how this party... No, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this party took over Jesus Christ. What an unholy alliance. Because, you know, back in the day, the Republicans used to be hot for money, not for Jesus. That's what I liked about them. <laughs> Jesus would not be a Republican. He, he needs a shave and a haircut, and he's... You know, he hangs out with the poor, he's compassionate, he's got a hooker friend. He's Ted Kennedy, this guy. <laughs> God the Father, there's a Republican. <laughs> the, the I'll drown your ass if you fuck up guy, that's a Republican. <laughs> but, uh...